so personas as uh, last time when we were talking about so these are basically uh, different users and their characteristics and you actually find out you know you actually interview those users so before writing down personas you actually talk to the end users so uh, if you are you you understand your problem statement you know what you're doing what you're building and then you have to find out who are the different end users who will be using the product for example if you're building a student portal portal so your stu- student portal website probably will be used by the students of course that's one so your student becomes one set of users then uh, probably the staff so your staff becomes another set of users and uh, then the admins so who will be actually the back office admins handling this particular portal so that becomes the third set and based on that you interview different people with different roles and try to come up with the personas okay. so personas are fictional characters or archetypes to model the ways user interact with the system it is used to understand the value from the stakeholders perspective when the team Uh, may not have direct access with all of them personas is described as if it is a real person so based on a user you interview the users you write down their various traits and uh, this actually helps the team because of course team is not there to understand who the users are but if the personas are ready it you know team also a team in the sense of development team and people who are actually working on the particular user story or the product they also get a good idea about what the user is what are the traits of the user and uh, you know they also can come up with a lot of suggestions and other bits is it used generally it is used a lot so we do use uh, basically in our pr- in our project so whenever we get a new project example so the business analyst is sent to the customer location to get uh, the requirements and other bits so there itself we do a lot of interviews with some real users and then come up with a generalized trend of how the persona should be okay. but again then again it depends from uh, company to company and the projects and your customer whether they want to because many a times what happens is uh, you know these kind of users we will not you know they might not get, give you time to interview them or the customer might say that okay uh, you know we don't have people ready and other bits so there are challenges of course but uh, it is always good to have because even you get to know the real problem and how they use the particular solution mm-hmm. so if you see the uh, here the template that they've given so it's like there are two kinds of template but this is just an example it is not always that you have to follow this you can keep changing the templates as per your uh, requirements so yes you need to have the picture and the name for sure and mm, then the details of that person so the responsibility that they handle in the particular company or within your customer domain if they are technically sound then what kind of technology do they ha- uh, do then some generalized uh, traits for them like their age occupation location and what is the goal that they're trying to achieve with the particular solution or the problems that you're trying to solve and then the other bits is the long persona template there as well so you can have the of course the name the other demographic uh, demographic of that person then the buying motive so that is again basically the goal you can just summarize that and then the traits of that person the needs motivation and differentiator so how different is this person this persona from the other so if you are if you are two different kind of personas one of a student and uh, one of a admin so you, you know you can just pay, mention that okay this differentiator is basically this person is a student however the other is an admin so basically just defining that particular role of of that person okay. right so uh, the basic elements that a personas would have is name and image um, traits and characteristics so it's a unique distinguishing characteristics and traits so many a times uh, you know if you are building a solution for a a typical government uh, 
kind of a of uh, government office some kind of a portal or website for a government office so there you would find a lot of people who would be at the age of 50 45 50 and who are not at all technically sound so that would come under their uh, traits or their characteristics so this will help you to understand that okay your portal should be such you know it should be very straight forward it should be very you know usability has to be your first preference because you know they shouldn't search or find you know spend time just browsing through the website to search how to perform a particular function so that kind of things has to be very clear because such people have never used or they are not that proficient to use uh, technology or they, they don't know much of it so in that case these kind of traits actually help you to design your uh, solution better of course the motivation uh what is the motivation to interact so what is the solution that they're looking for the needs to be addressed is that's again the solution that they're looking for and the differentiator so why this person is different from the others so if you see here this uh, some examples that has been added so this person which is uh, who is a uh, operations manager fred so there is some personal background that he is in the age of 45 to 50 he is married having a kid in college and one other kid in higher secondary education is undergraduate then what kind of role does this person do he is the facility or the operations manager so you define the roles then the company that he works for you have a set of company information the goal or the challenges that he is facing you have that and uh, shopping and industry new preferences so probably what kind of what, what what is his preference what is his basically characteristics is something that you can add so the template of the persona can keep changing based on what you are looking for what your what is the solution that you are trying to build you can always keep changing the template it's not necessary that you have to always stick to one mm -hmm. but then personas are always uh, uh, basically for one particular person so you just need to have a name and a picture for sure and then you define the roles and other bits and once you have your personas ready it is uh, easy to basically generalize right. a set of users top strengths of a persona here would be personas help in developing shared understanding for different stakeholders helping in creation of user stories so if you know that in user stories we have that format right as a user i want to do something so that you achieve something so as a user so this user basically defines the persona so you can say that as a student i want to do something so that you are able to log into the portal or find out something else similarly another stuff can be as a um, staff or an as a faculty i want to perform some actions so having the personas help you to define your user stories better uh features can be prioritized based on value creation so you can also based on the uh, personas that you find out you can also add in lot of features onto your uh, solution or the website or the application that you are building ba based on you know you understand that okay if you give this feature it will be valuable to your users and how you are finding that out that is probably based on the personas that you have created and it uh, provides a human face so as to you know you can empathize with the person because you know what the persona is and how the person is you have the basic characteristics of the person in front of you so it is easy for you to empathize as well uh top limitations would be personas needs to be specific uh, but because of being functional they can be generalized as well so it's not necessary that you know you just interview one person who is a student and then you find you just conclude that okay this is the general traits of student that will never happen because each and every student is different and they would have their own um different traits different uh, characteristics so at times it becomes difficult because then how many students will you interview and how many students personas will you write down so probably max to max you can you know take 5 10 but then at one point of time you'll have to generalize it so 
at some point does this becomes a limitation of course and uh, it cannot be re- it it cannot replace the actual users of course because this is something that you generalize at one point you'll have to do the generalization and come up so it is it cannot always be 100% accurate 